Today, our topic is Rabbit Urinogenital System in Structural Organization of Animals. So, Urinogenital System comprises of urinary or excretory system, genital or reproductive system. So, the urinary urinogenital system consists of urinary or excretory system and genital or reproductive system. Excretory system. So, excretory system, that is the rabbit, it is a mammal. So, the excretory system is made up of kidney. So, each kidney is made up of several nephrons. Okay. And the waste. So, the kidney separates the waste. That waste here it is nitrogenous waste. And it is excreted as urea. And the kidney color is dark red bean shaped. And where it is situated? It is present in the abdominal cavity. And each kidney has a tube called ureters. And it is it is opens into the urinary bladder. And leads into the muscular duct called ureter. So, you will see the structure of the kidney. As the mammals, they possess a pair of kidneys. So, this one kidney and this one kidney. And it is the right kidney and the left kidney. Okay. And this is the tube, ureter. The muscular tube is known as urethra. And this one is the urinary bladder. And what is the function of the kidney? The kidney separates the nitrogenous waste from the body and it is excreted as urea. Urea, so that is it separates the nitrogenous waste from the blood and excretes, excretes as urea. And urea, this is the function of the kidney. And the, there are two kidneys and the two kidneys have a muscular structure tube called the ureter which connects the which connects the kidney with urinary bladder. Okay. And next we move on to the reproduction. That is reproductive system. So sexual dimorphism is seen in rabbit. So there is a male and female separate the male rabbit and female rabbit. Okay. Sexual dimorphism means presence of Different that is male rabbit and female rabbit. So the sexes are separated and they are morphologically different. Morphological means externally they are different. So male reproductive system. So male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes. So they are ovoid in shape. So it is a that is you can see here. The testis. So the testis is ovoid in shape. So this here, this one. It is ovoid in shape. So this one is the testis and it is ovoid in shape. Okay. So the testis is surrounded by scrotal sacs which is seen in the abdominal region. So it is surrounded by. So this is. This testis was surrounded by a sac that is called scrotal sac. And where this testis is seen in the abdominal region. So each testis have numerous tuberous tubules. So the each testis has a tubules. That tubules is called seminiferous tubules. So you can see the uh, testis contains numerous tubules which is called as Seminiferous tubules. Seminiferous tubules. So the network of tubules lead to a coiled tubule called epidemix, which lead into the sperm duct called vas deferentia. So you can see this coiled tube. The coiled tube is called epidemix. The epidemics after the epidemix lead into a tube called vas deferentia. So, vas deferentia. So, the vas deferentia join into the ureter just below the urinary bladder. So, you can see here the vas deferentia. This is the vas deferentia 
and vas deferentia and the ureter it is it is joined the vas deferentia and the ureter is joined with the urinary bladder by the back side and it passes through the penis at the back side it passes that is the vas deferentia passes through the penis that only here they have said so that is just runs backward and passes to into the penis so there are three accessory glands which is seen uh, seen in the urinogenital male reproductive system prostate gland cowper's gland and perineal gland so prostate gland cowper's gland and perineal gland and their secretion so these three gland secretions are involved in reproduction so you can easily remember uh, remember the three types of uh, glands see here this is perineal gland cowper gland that is cowper's gland and prostate gland okay so uh, if they ask the male reproductive system they think about the testis the testis was surrounded by scrotal sacs and the shape of the testis is ovoid and it is connected with the the echoid tube called uh, uh, epidermix and it contains seminiferous tubules and the epidermix where the sperm lead to the vas deferentia and these vas deferentia is connected with the ureter at the back side of the urinary bladder which leads to the pass into the penis and it has three glands prostate gland cowper gland and perineal gland they are helpful in the secret that secretions are helpful in reproduction and next we move on to the female reproductive system so a pair of ovaries are seen and they are small ovoid structure so a pair of ovaries that is here the pair of ovary is seen you can see no this portion this is the ovary portion and it is very small ovoid structure okay small ovoid structure shape and where it is situated it is situated behind the kidney in the abdominal cavity so there is a pair of ov duct you can see a ov duct this is called the ov duct and it looks like a funnel shaped so it looks like a funnel shaped opening of the ov duct so that is while seeing the ovary it it open that is here this is the ovary so in the ovary you can see it looks like this is ovary and it looks like this so it was in a funnel shaped structure okay where it opens with the ovary the anterior part of the ov duct is called fallopian tube that is anterior means the front portion the front portion it is called the fallopian tube here it is the front portion is called the fallopian tube okay it leads to the wider tube called uterus so after the fallopian tube there is a wider tube so this portion is the wider tube which is called uterus okay uterus so the uterus joined together okay the uterus is joined with a tube called vagina so the common tube is formed by the union of urinary bladder and vagina that is there is a common tube which connects the vagina and the urinary bladder so that is called that is that is called urinogenital canal or vestibula so urinogenital ca canal or vestibula which connects the vagina and the urinary bladder it is a common tube so next it runs backwards and opens to the extent by a slit like aperture called valvula so this tube was uh, runs backward and it forms a slit like uh, opening called valva valva and here also it has a pair of cowper glands and perineal glands or the accessory glands so these are the two glands present in the female reproductive system of rabbit so 
so the, you can see the perineal that is perineal gland and another gland is cowper gland and the prostate gland was absent in the female reproductive system so they are also helpful in the uh, reproduction these three glands two glands are helpful in the reproduction hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box if you want to watch the tamil version of this topic i had given the link in the description box you can go and watch it so give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel